Hey Guru Nation, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. It's getting a little chillier here in Arizona, so every now and then I'm going to do a little fireside chat. I got this question from YouTube actually, and it said, hey, would love to see more content regarding late entry progress notes. For example, when and how to include them. So this is actually a really good question. There's some CRAs that believe you can overuse note to file. Um, I think sites tend to lean towards not using them enough. And I agree with the CRAs that say sometimes sites abuse them. But I think most sites, my own included, don't use them enough. And situations come up all the time. For example, I had a case where we have screening visits. This actually just happened recently. We had a screening visit. One of the assessments could not be done at screening. Now, this is not a protocol deviation, but it's something that could have been done at screening visit, but due to some technical issues, as well as some scheduling conflicts between the patient and one of our sub-investigators, we could not get this assessment done. And this is a very easy assessment. So the patient decided to come back another day and have the assessment done. And then they also got the physical exam done the same day, mainly due to patient having to leave that day. They So they were willing to come in and do the screening visit, but they were not, you know, in the middle of the screening, they were not able to complete the visit, not because they didn't want to do the study, but because they didn't want to wait for a sub-investigator to come and they actually were pressed for time, they had to get going. So we couldn't complete the screening visit. Ideally, ideally the visit would have been all completed day of screening. But the patient came back, some of the assessments were done a different visit. Now, this might look strange documentation-wise it might generate queries in the EDC system. Why was this assessment done on a different date as opposed to screening? Not protocol deviations, but in this case, a note to file documents the rationale for why the date of certain assessments does not match the date of screening. So this is where note to files need to be used. When you are explaining and documenting something whether it's protocol deviation or not. We've had a case where actually there was a protocol deviation as well. So here's another example recently. Patient came in for screening visit. They didn't provide enough urine in the urine cup for the central lab to, I guess, process the urine drug screen. Luckily for us, our site urine cups, by default, have the urine drug screen on them. So we did, we collected the urine in the urine drug screen cups. The test on our end locally showed negative. We sent the urine as we used all of it to the central lab. They were able to do a urinalysis, but they didn't have enough to do urine drug screen. So we actually didn't do, we didn't have the patient come back in to redo the urine drug screen. They ended up being a screen failure anyways. But the point is, we actually needed to collect the urine drug screen centrally. So we did a note to file to document that, hey, while technically this is a deviation and our staff has been retrained, we didn't want to inconvenience the patient any more than they needed to. And we used our local urine drug screen reports to document that they were not on any drugs or illicit substances that are prohibited for the study. So that's an example. These are two examples from my own site recently of when and how note to files need to be used. One is not a protocol deviation. The other one is a protocol deviation. Again, I don't think sites use note to files enough. As a general rule of thumb, this is how I tell my coordinators. Whenever you need further explanation, regarding anything, I don't care if it's a deviation or it's not a deviation, when you need to further explain something, that's when you need to use a note to file. Because an auditor, when an auditor comes in, whether it's the FDA or a sponsor or just an 
external auditor comes in, oftentimes, let's remember, years later from when the event occurred, oftentimes there's different staff, they don't know what happened. There are different staff at the site, there's different coordinator maybe. You need that paper trail of a note to file to explain what occurred. Because if it's not documented, it didn't happen. So that's when note to file should be done. I don't think sites use them enough. There are CRAs that say sites overdo it sometimes. I guess I've been a CRA as well, and I haven't seen them overused, but from what I've heard from other CRAs tell me is when sites are looking for ways to bypass certain things on the protocol, they overkill on note to files and explain their rationale as to why they did what they did and why it's not considered a major deviation, but rather a minor deviation. So I get it, but the purpose of this video is to tell you people watching, note to files are your friends when they are used appropriately. And by appropriate, I mean explaining yourself for the purposes of a future auditor. Thank you for watching Guru Nation. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Take care.